everybody i am tina this is to the inner wild um welcome to all of uh, my current practitioners of light and love um thanks very much for joining um portals are only open for them and the divine that i call upon which is like my core you know inner circle um beyond the veil especially my my bestie beyond the veil <laughs> um also, thank you to my supporters and my sponsors. Um, this is a timeless energy reading. Therefore, um, I'm depicting and addressing the energies um, with an advance. <laughs> so, there's that. Oh, angels of light and love, I welcome you in to direct and protect these messages, my auras, my space, my chakras, and that of my viewers. Um, all right. So, okay. Today we're doing an energy reading. I was told to use the O cards, what remains in there. Um, I only, I left a few um, kind of like in my altar space area, um, like as reminders, as motivators. Um, and then, cause like everything is, it's like the most significant things um, I would say are not like instantaneous. And so I just need like these basically like, um, post-it notes of, um, of, um, just to, just visual reminders, um, to keep going that, you know, the work is not yet finished. And once I, um, continue on with, um, integration, um, on, you know, a norm, then, um, I can put the book cards away. That's what I'm told. Um, yeah. So, um, my team agrees on that. Um, and so we're going to continue with the O cards. See, I put the beach away because I, I went there and it's something that I used to do, um, frequently. So, you know, it, it's, it's easy. It's easy. It's, um, it's just as easy, um, done as it is said. Um, but I, I, I have to balance that with other things. And I was starting to get really, I'm, I'm just like conveying this, um, because it's, um, I feel like it's, it would be important to you too also, because I was just getting down on myself again and feeling a little overwhelmed. Like I, every place that I touched on, you know, my ex, you know, destroyed, whether that's intentionally or subconsciously. And regardless, even if it's subconscious, it's still done with intention on some level, some deep rooted level. So I'm trying not to take that personally and not, and, um, understanding how that parallels, um, amongst the other activity experienced at work. Um, that when someone tries wants like there's a severe call out for attention, wanting attention, any attention in particular, but mine being um, the most significant because it is the most powerful given, um, the most um, generously given. So I have to keep that in mind that when it comes down to a personal level, um, that is what, um, that's why it's directed towards me. And um, take it for what it's worth, which is um, using it as um, practice exercises to build resilience because I did that. Like, I, I understood the call out um, uh, for what I needed to do, what, like, laid on my task list um, when it came to work matters um, and how that affected my personal life, um, you know, after clocking out. And, um, you know, like, how that particularly tried to invade my home when it when it came to like even my sleeping hours so conquering that um I realized oh well you know the lesson doesn't end there I carry it over right back at you know old news other old news and um you know just finding closure in all of that so um I it's like I, I shed like a, maybe four or five tears <laughs> um and then I, um, and then Spirit gave me a big, big hug. I don't know if you know what that's like, but it's, it's wonderful. <laughs> yes. So anyway, I did like one straight sit up, started doing some breathing exercises and I'm back on track. <laughs> Cause it's like, I, I look around and I'm like, oh no, I did make progress. I, I know I did. And it, and it didn't take very long. It was just, even if I was distracted from here to there to here to there, all of it needs to be done. 
and like the human condition to experience immediate gratification on like a checklist to do um manner is a lot of the times we just um like they say, like to focus on one area and get it done that you, way you feel accomplished, like you actually see the results. Well, there's definitely a sense of practicality in that, but there's no shame in moving from here to there to this to that, you know, like how, um, most, um, <laughs> you see that on a lot of skits in like TikTok and whatever. Um, and, um, so, um, Uh, seeing all that I have to do, like, it's just, I'm feeling a lot better moving away from, um, the most toxic circumstances, like, it really does, you know, um, what do you call it, it really does, um, automatically prioritize things, you know, it's like your higher self has this, becomes this, um, life coach, you know, once you kind of surrender to like what needs to be done. And then you realize why after so many things are done, after you get the wheels in motion, it is beautiful. (laughs) So, um, and just, gosh, just letting go of that one character that used to be on my live readings, like, mm, I'd say 70 to 80% of the time changes. Like, seriously, th- that dude must have, like, <sighs> trash. So, um, anyway, help me do away with a lot of other trash and a lot of other, like, um, activities that were inconsistent with prior, you know, my main priorities. <laughs> um, oh, yes. Okay, Ancestors of Light and Love. Yes, I welcome you in as well. So. Even though their advice, their their ways are very, uh, they're a little stern, uh, <laughs> but, um, you know, I see their point. I get it. Because if I were on the other side, I would, I would be just like that, you know? They know. Oh, look, love is, but it's in reverse. Why? Okay, let's look at that bottom of the deck energy. Hmm, not loving the whole box thing. Um, okay. So, um, what do we want to start? Okay, they want to start off with that. It's go. It's go time. There's a little bit of a stain here. Do you see that? I don't know why. I haven't seen. Hmm. Oh, you know what? I think I had it, like, set up also near, like, a water cup and the condensation kind of leaked towards it. It's okay adds character okay um and it fell on i was putting away like some um beads and jewelry stuff and it landed on um a ring that i forgot that i got and to change things up and for my for practice or whatever um where's my other one i'll put that other one on um yeah. Oh, it feels good. It feels good when you charge your jewelry. Shit, that's good. <laughs> um, uh, my nails are dirty from cleaning. Okay. So not to get discouraged, you know, when it comes to the whole cleaning thing, by the way. Like, you know, there are times where I'm like, I'll be damned if I'm somebody else's maid. Um, there's nothing wrong with um, cleaning for a living. Nothing wrong with that. But the fact that it's like my my original intention behind the statement is I'll be damned if I'm someone else's doormat, you know, or a doormat. So, um, yeah, like the whole cleaning up and like I it came up with like some solutions as far as clearing up like such a terrible clutter inside the garage. Um, it's like, (laughs) it's so much bullshit, but I realize that's not my bullshit. I have to remember that if I'm cleaning up certain things, it's, it's for the betterment of me, my mindset, my health and well-being, as well as my children's. Um, and you know, like 
I get to have that practice. I get to do that. So I'm that much more like on it and resilient as far as um so becoming um solutions oriented on a norm like that shit also helps in different facets of my life when other people energetically bring in their trash to my you know neighborhood um and try to use um, you know like take up space in my realm and um and uh you know like that exercise of perceived power when they when they do that so like i know that once we're done with this, once we're separated, he doesn't get the kickbacks of my energy anymore. But I get the I get the kickbacks of the efforts that I put in. I um like <laughs> it's gonna be so much more focused, you know, because of that practice. And it it's it's gonna be it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be all good. And right now, like, I'm just in, you know, the last few pages of this, like, workbook, you know, those elementary workbooks. Um, yeah, like, <laughs> I, I'm just realizing that, like, he's going to have to live, or these people, these energies are going to have to live within their own trashy ways. They're going to have to live with, um, you know, how they conduct themselves. Because I'm not going to be there anymore. Like, I'm... It's done. <laughs> so, okay, go. What goes in there? Many. Okay, so uh, there are snakes, number one. But number two, there's learnings behind all of that. Um, <laughs> definitely. And, um, again, over here, um, it, it just takes, like, a matter of... Like, these learnings, because it, it mimics the darkness in, on the blackboard... It's almost like a window, you know, of opportunity between the changes between day and night. Um, so it's, yeah, day and night. Okay. So there's that. So we're talking about transitions there. And, um, and given time it fixes itself like it heals on its own like you don't have to constantly fret at that good morning <laughs> okay so um this go time is good like it doesn't give us like the champ cup right away it's just laying out you know the base of reality um and the value in it you know these are like the daily activities and um just life organically you know seen whether near or far mm -hmm. okay so we have hesitation pronounced anger pronounced and strangers pronounced i don't know the person that popped in was um you know, neutral, I mean, I, I don't, I don't know, um, anyway, um, when it's time to go, you know, there's, there's these, okay, so what are they saying about going, oh, it's about being self-motivated, like, starting the journey, regardless of what that looks like, if, um, when you walk right out of the door, this reminded me of, like, um, a reading I did on YouTube before I even got onto Instagram live, and it was, um, an image where it was, like, game time or something, um, something game over, try again type of thing, and there's this pastor with his hand on the porch, and it was like Dr. P kind of thing, where, but it was, it, it was like tatted on the knuckles, and, um, you know, there's, there's a message in there, so I have to, I'm not going to repeat myself, um, so, um, regardless of how that looks, like, you should not be intimidated at all, like, just keep, just go, <laughs> um, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. 
So, um, what goes in hesitation? Pronounce. Why are these things like, I don't Okay, I'm going to leave it open. What is this? Okay. Hesitation. What goes in hesitation? Pronounced. Accentuated. Um, it's, um, looking at oneself and asking people giving. Oh, okay. So this is how we value ourselves, you know, looking at ourselves. And this is like, this is almost like someone like, um, you know, asking for change or asking for help from the side of the street, but it came in reverse. So it's, um, basically strangers wanting to give and having to take a look at ourselves. So, um, yeah, or just reflections. You know, because we hold a mirror, we could angle it a certain way when we don't want to look straight at something. We just kind of want to peek at what's going on on the side of us, like peripheral view. Um, so I think, okay, so there's this big pause, I suppose, that we have, um, how we are see ourselves relative to how others, um, you know, receive us. So. I can't lie to that. I, I feel, I feel those vibes, you know, I, um, you know, I just, I just know what the norm is for me. Um, and it's not always like directly for me. Do you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> so, um, like it's just, um, reconciling, um, the old data versus what's coming in the new based on like my present vibes. So it's just kind of reconciling that. Okay. That's why there's a big hesitation. <laughs> okay. Or it's just fully pronounced. Okay. So why, I don't know if I feel anger. Maybe that's just energy around me. I might, what goes in anger pronounced? That's okay. Um, I think it's not having the, the support. You see? I think it's just not having support. Is that right? There's a single card that came out. I guess it's a perception of not having support. You know what what's past has already come and gone. This is a new phase. Um so I think that is um an illusion. Like even what we see in the mirror is also an illusion. <laughs> yeah. Um Like, have you ever seen yourself in a mirror when um, the light is shown directly on you versus when it's shining straight at the mirror and it ricochets at you? Like, so, like, it's almost like um, those um, magnified mirrors where you get to see, like, a microsection of your face and you're like, ew. <laughs> that's, um, that's kind of what it's like, you know? Um, stranger pronounced, it goes in there. I don't feel like we got the full message yet. I think I have to lay this one down before we get the fuller context because we're taking it in snippets. So, but I think there's phases to this message here. <clears throat> stranger, okay. Um, pouring some water in a glass, but it was in reverse. You know. Um, pronounced. Okay, so it's like hospitality, not being hospitable, not being like. It's like not offering or not hospitable. Hmm. I don't understand that. What it, why am I not understanding this? I don't. Hmm. Is there like resistance in me or something? Like, I don't know. Maybe like this is all historic, you know, because I do under. 
Let me see here. I'm going to go ahead and pull cards of my own because I'm told to. Boast. Okay. And I'm told to get one more. Oh, yeah, fine. Um, love in reverse again. Aww. Okay. So what goes into both? Angels of light and love. Ancestors of light and love. Mm. Yeah, there's definitely, um, there's definitely, like, dark energy, because it wanted to be in pronounced, but I put it in upright because Bose is, a, is an upright, but regardless if it's pronounced or just an upright, somebody's, like, wanting to, like, backstab, like, really hurt me. <laughs> Like, they want to do that, like, so badly that they're kind of, like, bragging to their friends or whoever's willing to listen. Ah, oh, that's, that's like serial killer vibes, you know, like, in jail, you know? Where even the people that they're telling these things to, they'd easily turn against. Because, you know, when I think jail, like, I see the person in blue right there also, like, in jail, right? Like, this person has, like, that's how they're driven. Like, they they really enjoy, like, love, you know, hurting people. I don't, this is like, what? <sighs> okay, what well, goes in love in reverse? This is the, why, why are, why are you showing me this, angels? I don't understand. I mean, I, I did not invite, like, I didn't, I told them that they're not welcome here, but maybe this is just for our inner circle. Yeah, look, love, not like, we don't love, like, the whole box thing again. Um... Okay, nobody really likes to be cornered, 100%. Nobody likes to be labeled and put into one box, but we all do it. I mean, to some extent. Um, I mean, I just did that, like put myself in this little contraption, like, am I doing enough? Is this like, okay, what does this look like from the outside? And it's like, no, I made progress. I know what I did. Like I spent the first couple of hours today, um, you know, not just moving things around, but like cleaning up, putting things away. And it's a process. It did accumulate over time. So this energy is telling us, just go, just keep going. Um, yeah, there's a lot to learn in the daily activities. Yeah. So what are we learning from this? Okay. Okay. Um, let me see here. What goes over hesitation? Appearance in reverse. Okay. So not to judge a book by its cover. Like, no, we just talked about that. But you know, like, um, how things, um, I'm just saying to look deeper. Mm-hmm. And, um, yeah, because we're on the in-between. So things can be confusing as far as the transition point. Okay. Um, what goes over anger to kind of, like, resolve that, reconcile? Change. Yeah, a lot of people do, you know. Adaptation, definitely, is um, not the most friendly way to, how do I say it? Acclimating to an environment is much more of a friendly tone than adapt. Adapt, it's like you're forced to change. Acclimate is like you are welcomed into that change. You are, um, it's a lot more inviting. Like, oh, I'm just like, acclimating to the temperatures i'm just adjusting my being to this new environment and just kind of warming things up you know nestling in so it goes and change okay a bird in reverse hmm. 
and it's it's um coming in for a landing so um instead of soaring up it's soaring down why is that I think um, whenever we're going through any changes in order to avoid being so reactive, um, let's say with anger um, and how we kind of point the finger that we're not getting the support here and there, we kind of isolate to ourselves um, to resolve, um, to reconcile those differences between one environment and the next. So what are we doing? We're finding like... um, Instead of the launching pad, we're looking for a way to ground ourselves. So um, this is all independent behavior carried by um, the wind um, against both of our wings and finding um, like a safe landing. Um, Yeah, stable ground. Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, And then strangers pronounced... um, and not having that hospitality, um, what goes over that to resolve? Pain in reverse. So, um, instead of looking, um, like we notice when, you know, others are just like not vibing with us, but like, why would we choose to focus on that? You know, um, so that's doing away with the pain and um okay pain in reverse would be peace right i think we've got that before so finding peace in jeez <laughs> not selling ourselves short not like um you know causing harm to ourselves <laughs> so it's realizing what's within our own power mm mm-hmm. So, um, yeah. And, you know, um, just because our presence is a blessing doesn't mean that, um, any, anyone, it has the obligation to, um, provide hospitality or a welcoming. Like they're in their own walk of life. Um, at that moment when you converse paths. So um, it's just an opportunity just to find peace in that and just like, you know, peace be with you, kind of, and peace be with me. (laughs) Primarily, first off, peace be with me. Okay, that's it. (laughs) Um, And um, it's like being in the same world, but like knowing that sometimes we're in two different places um and and that's okay um we're not going to force anything to happen it's just an acknowledgement of that um but the ignorance on that just like is um it doesn't do anybody good (laughs) so you know when you're both in two different worlds like you just realize that, um, it's not just a separate wavelength, it's a different path, so, um, instead of cutting yourself, like, um, it's like cutting yourself some slack here, because instead of, like, um, uh, personally dismantling, (laughs) um, yeah, the experience, it's, um, yeah, just finding, finding peace within what's in our own power, which is kind of, um um how do what's a what's a good parallel to that like okay you're vacationing in a new place okay and like this let's say it's a big event like it's your honeymoon or it's an anniversary it's it's some major like thing where you wanted to celebrate on the outskirts what is that like what is this like great experience on another side of the world like let's just go ahead and just mix it all up you know and and just make it a little bit more exciting um this event okay so it's like you're a stranger like everything is different in in that new realm right um but 
they're not as hosp- hospitable or the hotel room isn't like, you know, up to par or whatever. And you're like, am I going to let that dampen my experience? Am I going to like let that ruin this whole like engagement? No. So you're going to find peace and you're going to kind of um, cut yourself from that situation, cut yourself some slack. And you're like, I didn't know. I didn't know. I, I did some research or I didn't like, because I wanted that surprise factor, whatever the case may be, you step out of that, um, and into a new comfort zone, which is like, I'm going to enjoy what it, you know, um, this part of, um, the trip. I'm let's go ahead. And instead of like, you know, staying dominantly here, this is just like our resting point or whatever. Um, it's, it's just lodging. It's not like, we don't have to make it anything more than what it is. And we're just, you know, let's enjoy it, you know, else, um, these other, um, snapshots elsewhere. And, um, yeah, so it's just making the best of your situation. Um, this is like a very, um, these are, yeah, this is like all minor arcana stuff, um, in order to help like really um cement the the inner calm on like multifaceted situations um because all these subtleties um um help us like give us that extra boost when it comes to like that big change like that 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 transition um so this is um disciplining it like our waves Um, so that like, it's like discernment in advance, you know, um, it's paying it forward with our discernment. (laughs) Okay. So what goes are verbose? Slave and reversed. Reversed. They, they said it in a way that, um, is past tense. Like, um... So no longer a slave. So freedom. Freedom from such characters that are like so toxic. Yeah. Look at that. Freedom from that toxic environment. Mm -hmm. The one that like bragged about like how they did this and did that to you. How they fucked up your day. How they got you sick. How they attacked you like during Halloween night with such and such a character. How they jumped into your energy. How they did this and that. Um, like that's their, that's their heyday. That's like them in their prime. Are you kidding me? Like you, we should feel sorry for those characters. We should be those are the people that we pray for because like their life has so little value with how they invest themselves. Did you hear that honk? That's, that's the divine confirming it. So we are no longer slaves to this situation. Do you see that? Like ostracized? No, we are extricating ourselves from that okay obsoleting this like bind um and we're free we're free from this okay so what are we doing to resolve and reconcile this um we're not loving the whole box thing which is fine you know but let's focus that into like you know some better energy like instead of focusing on what we don't love let's focus on what we do like what what excites us what's um um what motivates us should in reverse so um should often is used as a construct like a binding construct like i shall like so it is done so um i think there's um a need for um 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 having flexibility mhm um because yeah we're we're trying to get out of those those constructs um those um inhibitors that we put on ourselves you know like yeah Mm -hmm. so um so the opposite 
of that isn't really like shouldn't. We're looking more at the value of um, what's another word for it? Um, something that is more like freely um, practiced. So instead of I should. Um, oh, you know what? Should and shall, I think they're kind of like two separate things too. Because shall is like, it m not only must be done, it is written. Um, but should is like, you ought to. That's what I'm, what I'm understanding. It's like coming from a place of elitism, like it's, it's already aloof, you know? Even when you're looking at yourself, yourself like, I should do this, I should do that. No. So, I will. It's a commitment that's like, um, it has no binding, um, like, you, you can free reign it. Like, you can detail it out as much as you want to or leave it kind of loosely, that commitment, um, um, loose within its, like, own organic definition like how it wants to self-define so I will okay so free will that's what it is okay so okay let's get one here okay um cutting through mm. You know, um, yeah, I'm getting, I'm getting this. Okay. So that's a message. Like what they're telling me is true. Okay. So I will cut out, um, you know, others from the same cloth. If, if they're, if they're, if they have like stains that like, I just can't, you know, handle that's going to, um, destroy whatever it is I choose to sew or make out of this, um, bolts of cloth, um, like, why am I going to include that portion in my new makings um, when I don't know if that would be removable or not? Like, it's just, it's a liability um, within the whole. So, um, anything that's like, like messed up, frayed or whatever that um, does not cooperate with the vibe of the rest um, when the rest is, you know, um, ready to be shifted into a new creation, like I, I, I will cut. It's it's okay for us to um, commit to cutting out like what doesn't work, even if you know, cosmically speaking, we're from the same cloth. Um, that even if that leaves us with um, a remnant, like if there's not that much left on the bolt. Um, people who sew know what I'm talking about, but, um, so I'm trying to explain it a little bit more for those that don't, but like, basically you have a wrap of like a bolt of fabric, right? But when it gets down to like the, maybe like a yard and a half left or less, um, it's, um, the possibilities of what it can create are, um, limited. So that is what we call a remnant. So it's removed off of the bolt and like folded down and rolled into like a smaller piece and like usually sold at a discount price or whatever. Um, and so um, even if we're left with a remnant piece, um, we know that that's clean and ready to go. And um, it doesn't compromise um, further creations. So um, it's... Um, having like the mental fortitude to be like, okay, I see for th things for what they are, but this is what I must do. And so I will do it. Um, okay. So time to go with the po Pomo Tarot. I was called to do this, use this deck, um, a while ago, a little while ago, at least a few days ago, but 
I, I just forgot about it until now. So I think today is the right moment for it. Okay. Okay. So, so far so good. Um, okay. Invisible. Oh, see? Darn it. What the heck? Did I put it all? Okay. Alright. What else? Um, do you want to convey that relates to all of this, of course? Okay, alright. Uh, Money Man and Five of TVs or Five of Swords in reverse. Okay, so both of them are in reverse. Um, this is the person that isn't my person. Okay, number one. That is the King of Pentacles in reverse. Manipulating again. But they're brought down to, an, you know, a new level because it's Five of Swords in reverse. Actually, Five of TVs. Okay, Cups. Um, five of Wands in reverse. Scheiße. Five of TVs. Ugh. TVs. I don't remember what TVs stand for. I think it's, um, I think it's wands. Gosh, we're gonna find out. Uh, I forgot. Intro. Come on, I, I'm gonna have to like. What do you call it? I am going to have to. bookmark these things I'm gonna leave it out so I, I will bookmark it yeah it's um wands technical difficulties sensory overload repeal of the future in con incoherences in English it's Greek to me in Spanish it sounds like Chinese in German it sounds like Spanish mm-hmm nonsensical just juxtaposition to portray a dolphin in a forest and a boar on the waves okay huh okay so it doesn't go with its normal like straightforward meaning on here um five of wands in reverse normally is like um um, in general, like dropping the, the act basically. So no longer finding, finding this, the spirit and fighting. And, um, this could partially be the reason why, you know, technical difficulties, um, just like it, they're in over their head really <laughs> with sensory overload, um, repeal of the future, like karma getting to them, them not understanding all of the what it means to like fight anymore like if they've lost the fun the spirit in fighting that there's so many perspectives in this you see um there's it it's just like not only has it become noise but it's like there's other people becoming more independent and um or and or more obstinate um than usual so it it changes the whole dynamic um for the self um when one's used to controlling you know with their money with their um power with their um material prowess um and charming others by that um to the point of employing like um what do you call it um uh, um 
you know, and bullies have their, you know, little henchmen kind of thing. It's kind of like that. Like the henchmen are realizing that they're, they can, um, dial into other frequencies, um, and that they have minds of their own. They have other things that they're interested in, that they're not just, um, um, like, they're not supremely under the control of this character. That's interesting. Hmm. Okay, let's get one that I was told to, like, just go with here. Ace of Money. Yeah, so they're seeing that um, every person that um, was engaged in, like, this fighting spirit, including myself, is, is seeing, like, that the material only carries so far. Like, you know, I I, I kept getting that, that thing in my head, that saying, like, um, I'd buy that for a dollar. Um, but they're, they're um, money woman. That there's something, um, like, spiritually speaking, there, <laughs> there's so much more value. Do you see the all-seeing eye there? Um, like, even though this is, like, in the front, this is, um, what's, like, not as often seen, you know? I think they removed it off of the dollar. I'm not, I'm not 100% sure. But, um, spirit is behind the scenes when it comes to this. It's be behind the scenes. Um, yeah. So, like, people are understanding their worth um, beyond what they're bought out to do. That's why, this is why it's there. And for me, I've got the money. <laughs> Baby, I've got your money. Don't you worry. I said, hey. <laughs> Baby, I got your money. <laughs> that's what, look. That, that's um, the queen of pentacles. <laughs> that's me. I, told, I was told to personally, like, handpick. And to see that, like... I have a counterpart, like, this person knows that I'm a counterpart, that, like, I am an equal if they were to be upon their higher selves. There's something supremely relatable within my character that they, they wish they had, so much so that they're not, um, that they want to conquer this side of me, the idea of, you know, having me, because they're unwilling to make the changes so far on their own. So they think that if they own someone, if they have someone by their side that depicts this, that it's almost like, um, a bot facade where, um, they can kind of gain this in their lives without doing the actual work, um, to make those changes. But like spirits, like saying like, look, the money that I've got it. Um, Like, I've got the podium, basically. Um, you know, um, he's holding a staff, okay? But her staff is, like, showcasing that upcoming item. Like, what is she going to invest in? What is she working on? And part of this, like, can just be herself. That's a stool. Her podium is also a stool so that like, she can sit on it. Like, it's a mini throne as well. So, she can just show up as herself and be like, I'm solid. This is solid. Having nothing on there um, is solid because, guess what? That's like a hypo um, a conceptual void for something to be created, to put be put on there. Um, so... Yeah, spirit is very much invested in this whole thing. Like, I wanted to say that, but I just, like, let's pick that card first. <laughs> and um, so spirit is um, 
very much like invested like they dropped this like into the bank this whole skit here um to teach people a lesson in all different realms like they're saying that like money isn't everything so you don't need to like display that on like wear it on your sleeve or you know your tie um um but spirit saying let me teach you what money what value really is um and so everybody's tuning into that you know dropping like the fighting you know the competing channels like flipping through and they're all seeing from their own sets of eyes um and yeah yeah okay um one more card okay um 11 sheer force um strength training mental fortitude mhm mm yeah do you see this there's like resistance do you see this is like a dog thinking that they're like you know when um they play catch and it's a puppy and they're like they think that getting free, us wanting the ball back is like a game whereas like we're, we're there's some real resistance here but we're not quite getting the like it's it's just playtime for them so um um it's um understanding the differences in power plays and tuning in to other sentient beings to um as like a form of mental fortitude like what do and and you know like mainly not not just tuning into other people but like how do i conduct myself you know amongst all of these other viewers all of these um you know conflicting points of views um and it's not to gain um buy in it's just like what's acceptable for me like what what what's good for me you know i mean as far as like what how do i see it um what do I feel good with? You know? How 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 do I invest myself? Um Yeah, and just being good with that. I'm the one that has to live with myself, you know? And regardless if there's a plus one or whatever. Um do we okay, let's look at the bottom of the deck. Gun girl. So queen of swords in reverse. Mm. There's one thing that was turned up over here. Two things. What? Seven of guns, seven of swords, and the bottle woman. I'm facing the three of bells. Three of pentacles. Who's the missing? Mm. I think it's building the confidence up again. Like... We we can't. How do I say it? Mm. What what's past is come and gone. We're seeing things from a you know a different set of eyes. So our interpretation of the past is kind of um, an archived view of you know how we need to view things in the now. So, um, we can take those footnotes, you know, into, into consideration, but, um, the, um, the heaviest, um, weight should go to, um, what's in the here and now and how we're seeing it. Live interpretation. It's, um, it's personal divination. <laughs> Okay, G O E. Um, four more E's. M V N C O S T K L. Uh, I'm getting clove, um, which is like a magical, herbal, spiritual ingredient. Um.
molt, shedding, you know, old skin, move, sock, mm, keeping your foundations warm, um, glove, also, you know, um, your energy centers, um, protected, and um, cloves are very good also for, I think, um, not just protection, but also like abundance um, and growth. I'm pretty sure. So I want to put that. I, I was tempted to put gloves first because of prote protecting your energies. Um, but clove already implies that it's, um, more active, um, rather than like just one and done kind of thing. So cloves are important. Um, Um, I'm getting gnome, you know, um, elementals that, um, are very like earth based, um, um, hard workers, um, ancient energy, um, within the elementals. Um, they're like, it's like the queen of swords gave birth to like, you know, a certain realm because they're gnomes are I, and I understand them to be, um, like, um, no bullshit, like, um, type of energies. Like, they put in their hard work. Um, yeah. So, there's that. And, so, some of you might be, like, seriously like practitioners to have elementals and um like an herb in here like a powerful herb here um and then the fact of gloves and socks like um protecting your energy centers um and your foundations i, I definitely feel like that um What else? Toke. Okay, some of you might smoke out. Um, or have, like, a regular means to relax. I think, like they're telling me because like I'm not absolutely against you know smoking out um but like it's something that I I gave up um a while ago and I that was like the first week of January mm -hmm. I haven't had one nothing nothing at all um one like puff or whatever not not one inhale like and nothing whatsoever like I just went cold turkey just to, you know, see how many things I could, you know, let go of. And that, and that helped me also, um, keep in movement. Um, yeah, keep in stride. But I think what they're telling me is it's okay to, cause like, I seriously need to chill out and I can't, I, I, I don't need to like, Like, I can bend the rules a little bit, um, within consideration. Like, I, yeah. Because I know that I can relax with that. But I just, like, I want to share that with someone, you know? <laughs> um, that's all. Um... But they said that it's okay. If I want to do that, then it's okay. Um, uh, bum, 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 bum. I have K and T left. 
some of you might go by the name TK. I don't know why. I I think so. Some some people do. Okay. <laughs> um. Let me see if I can move some things around. Let me see. Mm, no, I think what I put there is correct. Elk. Duh. So, um, we have, again, the protection rune here. Yeah, definitely, I have, like, fellow practitioners here. Um, yeah, because elk, this is the second time in a row, I feel like, that we've had, um, you know... I think it's, it's not Elgis, it's El, J, El, J, uh, it is Elk, the protection room, okay, <laughs> forgive me, <laughs> okay, okay, I'm OT. Yep. So, um, at this point in our lives, we feel that I think in practice, um, there are times where we do have to put in overtime, especially like when it comes into like, um, um, cosmically challenged alignments or, you know, retrogrades, um, you know, like, um, Halloween when the veils are very thin. Um, and, uh, there's like volatile energies, um, mischievous energies. So um, there are times where we do need to put in overtime um, within our practice. Um, but generally speaking, I have three E's left and that builds um, um, foundations within, um, you know, on stacks, you know. Um, it's um, a triple decker, a triple threat, or even a layout of three... Um, you know, side by side, three um, foundations side by side. Um, what am I getting from that? What are we getting from that? Regardless, it's um, an indicator of growth. Um, yeah, okay. Um, okay, I feel like I'm supposed to get a few more. K E G H N I M R I. Okay. Meg Gem Keg. Um,. Um, King. Mine. So that could be like a verb, like mining for something, digging for something, or ownership as in mine. Um, or we could have like what, higher? Um, we also have ring, commitment, um 
Herc. I don't know. I'm getting Herc like as a I am. I'm getting, I don't know, like it wants to spell like Herkimer, like um, the stone, Herkimer diamonds. They're not real, like they look like diamonds, but they're not. It's, it's um, the, um, uh, it's a certain um, stone that is um, meant for um, like higher dimensional, um, like channeling, receptivity. Um, meditation um, it's best to be worn like around like um, your upper chakras especially like around your ears so if you are um, clairaudient um, you know for the sake of um, what you call it like I put it in one of my earrings like just I know it's like not as pretty or whatever but for the sake of practicality um, I to have it like um I, I ha I put that there for now. Um but um uh it's I'm I think it's good for um Claire Audient um to help um provide um like a clearer obviously clear but um it's supposed to enhance your channelings and um your abilities to of perception of what's going on around you um to look above the layer of bullshit yes that's that's the most concise way of saying it so i i was very close to spelling it out um i just needed the er oh my gosh yeah yeah definitely hurt him i'm missing the er at the very end um um, some of you might randomly find them in rings, like when you're, um, like at some metaphysical shop or like, so, there's some, like, there's somebody who might find it in a ring form, like just randomly. They said to get it. They said to get it. Mm -hmm. And try to get a bargain on it. Like, don't be like too keen on getting it because like people will like, you know, there's room to, I, I'm pretty sure, <laughs> but like, it's like buying a car like if they see that you're really interested in it then they're not going to cut you any deals but i'm thinking that you can on this i don't know so um yeah so it's missing the er on here which tells me like emergency you need it like in fact i will likely change out my earrings right now so that um because that's what they're saying like you need it now and when your intuition comes through like that, you better fucking listen to it. Let me tell you, buddies. <laughs> um, 
yeah it's there for a reason so um yeah um so they're, they're not like as aesthetically pleasing but like I did it um for the sake of like I just needed something to um like just do randomly a lot of my practices are like that don't worry about making things pretty but like for sure since it's missing the er here it's like saying quietly that you you've got to do that um there's this is definitely for light workers to um to enhance their intuition like even if you have it on a necklace if you like just have like told like here but for some the ring f version is um just fine um yeah because some of you when you're practicing like whenever like the way you engage yourself with the world especially during interaction you might talk with your hands so they might already be up they they might already be like in work mode so um a ring is perfect for you mm-hmm that's what they're saying. Yeah. And Herkimer, um, like, always comes in points. So, especially, like, when you're doing your energy work, um, because the fact that it has points, it's um, likely perfect for you to um, direct your energy accordingly. Um, and usually, I think um, it's double terminated. So, um, the receptivity along your magic um, is, is good. So, um yeah definitely that's what they're saying thank you very much angels of light and love ancestors of light and love um uh, my bestie from beyond and um spirit thank you um i think that's it for now um i could keep going on this but let me just show you what it looks like okay okay so, um, what they're saying, um, sorry, just going through, 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 so what they're saying is, um, don't, um, don't wait for shit to happen, like, just because the ER is missing, like, don't wait for something bad to happen or, um, before, like, another warning before you actually get this. They said get it now, okay? Um, and those that are, you know, stumble upon this, like, you might not be searching for it, um, because, like, earrings are, um, key, like, even in your resting, like, bitch face, <laughs> they, um, they're saying that, um, you might find it. Um, I might, yeah, wire wrap on that, on that note, I was trying to clean up to prepare for that <laughs> and, um, go from there. So I think that's it for now. Thanks for joining me at this time. Um, oh, I obviously do personal readings. Um, there's a Q and A that prefixes it. So, um, you know, I think those that really do need the help will not be, worried or afraid of like um the process of um like my filtering process um because I value my energy I value yours so I'm not gonna waste anybody's time um what was I gonna say yeah so just open Q and A. Um, if you're ever curious about that, just reach out on my Gmail. Um, and I think that's it. So this reading is officially over. So um, I close all portals that have been open, um, except to my guides, my my inner circle of divine light, uh, my core inner circle. Okay. Um, but thank you in advance to those who also respect my energy, value my time, my space, and, um, I look forward to seeing you again. Okay. Um, and if you have anything to say as well, feel free to comment or message me. Um, you know, I, I am as equal open to learning. Um, but that's it for now.
Bye.